In today's video, we're going to go on the most popular Washington server and we're going to get the craziest start and so much action in a very, very short time. This video is full of action, full of PvP, chaos, everything, and it just doesn't end. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's try to reach 200 likes. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, since each one has the channel grow a ton. In the last video, I announced the name of the kill giveaway and this is the winner. Claim your prize, please join my Discord over at discord.gg slash LDG and contact me over there. And today, we're going to run another one, which is a musical tricks you bottom. If you want to win this mythical, make sure that you have liked, subscribe, and comment something below. And if you are a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning this mythical. Uh, well, I just joined the server and I forgot I have all of this loot. I have myself Dettos, Dragon Fang boxes. That is basically it then. Just a bunch of PvP guns. I can make charges though, probably. So I joined the uh, most popular Washington server currently. I completely forgot that I have this loot. Um, just need to find somewhere to store it because we're literally right next to Millie and Seattle. And there's definitely people in there. There, we found this base. We'll just put everything in it. Take it over for now until we build ourselves a new base. Alright, got ourselves a teammate as well. So that's pretty nice. Let's invite. He has nothing, so that's kind of good. You got ourselves a Metsamoras. Two Dettos, actually. I completely forgot we have two Dettos. Alright, so I gotta make myself, like, a door. Let's salvage the Desert Falcon. Oh, I can't even place it because the stair's in the way. I need to chop down trees, actually. Alright, this could be kind of bad. So I'll just chop down trees. Make myself a doorway in the wall. Get makes myself a bed as well. And then, um, we'll try, we'll try to do some raids and PvP as always, you know? And then later on, we'll build our own base. Because I definitely do not want to live here. This base is not going to last more than five minutes if we just build over here. It's literally the worst hotspot that you can have. There's a dude right here. What's up, man? I don't know what he was looking at, but... Let's chop down a tree. I got myself a doorway. Got myself a bunch of walls as well. We'll clear it off. So technically, this is just going to be our base now. Beautiful. Just for now, though. So, after this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go make myself a bed. I'm gonna get ourselves the generator as well so that it doesn't decay. Even though it's not even ours. But we just need somewhere to store this. Uh, technically, I don't really have anything that crazy, to be honest. The detonators are really the important things. Other than that, it's nothing that crazy. I thought I had myself, like, 20 charges on me, but I barely had anything. There's already people outside our base. And he's right over here. Hit him once. Or he's just running away. There we go, he's dead. I had a chainsaw, that's actually pretty good. So I left everything inside, I just wanted to roam around naked. And use people that I killed, their clothes basically. Bro, there's people back again. So one of our teammates made a billion lockers. They're all empty right now though, but... Just so that we have some storage. Now my teammate's killing everyone. There we go. Uh, they had a heartbreaker. Oh, there's a naked. There we go, he's dead. Dude, they keep trying to get to our base. It's not, a, it's not a good idea that we're living here, to be completely honest. Yeah, all of our lockers are basically empty. We're just putting whatever we get from them. And later on, when we build the base, we'll just move everything over. There's another loot pile over here. I think that was my teammates, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Because the thing is, like, there are three different spawns around this location where people can spawn in and they know that we live here. And, for example, if a guy with a 10,000 by 10,000 sky base dies and he spawns here and he sees us building up the base over here and killing people over here they may figure out that there's a live base here so they may come try to raid us you know oh yeah there's people literally right here there's a green skin dude there we go one dead there's another guy though yeah they're both dead yeah exactly i have no idea how they even got up here <laughs> i was just outside right, we need to seal it off as quickly as possible let's get ourselves some walls yeah we gotta get ourselves more logs so let's just chop down some trees and um, seal off the base. And yeah, thankfully, this server drops a billion logs per three. It's insane how many one, how many logs it drops. Fill up our inventory. And right, there we go. And even these plates are annoying. Oh, there we go. Yep. I oh, they're dropping off from a sky base. There goes the base, man. The guys we just killed obviously own a sky base above us. Wait, are they all dead? Wait, they're all dead. Yeah, we gotta take all of the loot and just dip. I wonder if they have rockets on them. I don't even know where the rocket launcher is. Oh yeah, they're dropping off again. There's one of them right over here. Oh, he's dead. Oh, there's another dude. Oh, I'm dead. We gotta build a base somewhere close or somewhere a bit far away and just move all of the loot. This is not gonna end well. Oh, he's on a tree. Yeah, headshot. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, they're using Dragon Fang, dude. Oh my god, this monster key has no ammo. 
Wait, I think he died. Oh no, never mind, he's not dead. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned server and have no clue where to start? Then check out Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is super easy to learn, the navigation is also very user friendly and not hard at all to learn. All the servers have really high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own servers, I had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes I learned the basics. They have locations all around the globe, the pricing is also very cheap, and they also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A really good feature by Pine Hosting is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you have a server with another provider, Pine Hosting can help you move them as well. Make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the call. LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight into the video. Oh, he's pushing. Oh, he's dead. Dude, we need to like take over this one room until we build a oh base. God, there's somebody you, just screaming in the voice chat. Wait, they just throw a grenade? Oh, yeah, there's grenade PvP as well going on. Dude, like the whole server is outside right now as well. We need to like bring as much loot in here as possible. There you go, he's dead ourselves another heartbreaker let's just strip it get ourselves another mag i'm gonna make myself a door so at least that screw it screw the chainsaw for now so that we can move in some of the loads in here all right there we go i mean there's literally nothing in here but if we go outside and pick up as much loot as possible we may be able to bring it in here until we build a new base and then we could transport all of the loot i just need to get myself the detailed rocket launcher and if the dragon fang is still out there oh yeah they're using dragon fang Oh, I think my teammate killed them. My God, easy loot, so easy loot. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh yeah, we got the dragon thing. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, such easy loot. Oh, dude, he actually got. Oh, he actually got some loot. Oh, it's loot. All right, so we did get the death hole as well. Got the dragon thing box, grenade sticky. So we're probably just gonna TP out of here, and uh, we're just gonna build a base. Did we actually kind of profited because we got a dragon thing when we never had a dragon thing. And we got ourselves an empty rocket launcher too, so that's that's kind of sick. I'm gonna make myself a bed as well. I'm gonna put it right over here. Dude, all of our loot is just in this one by one right now. Oh, never mind. It wasn't that one by one, no longer is. Alright, I'm taking everything and I'm getting out of here. I'm, my teammate is far away, so I'm just gonna TP out. I got the good stuff. Let's salvage all of these as well. Well, the bed is gone. So that was a waste of an elite spec that I salvaged, but made another one. Oh yeah, we TP'd out. He's just building a base. We're gonna build it right over here. I knew that that base won't last more than five minutes, to be honest. But hey, we got a rocket launcher and we got a dragon thing. So that's pretty nice, I guess. And a sky base was literally right above us. So it would have been a... was a pretty bad base location, unfortunately. We obviously gotta kill the nakeds. There we go. Base will be built right over here. Place ourselves the bed. Now we gotta make some storage. I'll continue helping with the base. Let's kill that naked. Alright, so I returned. I got everything that we left. I didn't even bother to raid uh, the lockers actually. But got ourselves a bunch of attachments. Got the Metsa still. We got the second Deto and we got all the raw and everything that we left. Alright, there we go. He's dead. Oh, he had a Heartbreaker. Obviously take as much stuff as we need. We do need a lot of metal to make lockers again. I didn't savage lockers because they were all damaged anyway. Somebody's shooting Shadow. Very, very close. Let's go try to kill him. I have no idea where they are. Oh, there's a dude right there. He's naked though, but let's kill him anyway. There's people around. There's so many nakeds on the server as well. There we go, he's dead. Let's jump over to this side. There's two nakeds there. Bro, so many nakeds. We gotta kill them because they could just get a gun and kill us later on, man. I'm gonna jump off. We could go see what the guy that I killed first over here had. I think he had the uh, Eagle Fire Heartbreaker. Yeah, I think my teammates looted them already, actually. He had Eagle Fire, I think. There's a bunch of loot on the floor here. Yeah, somebody died with Hawkhound. Peacemaker shots very close, so a right, loot pile here, so oh, heartbreaker and a bunch of mags. Let's strip it. There's also a scope. We'll take that. So all we're doing is we're roaming around a little bit, trying to find as much kills as possible. We'll try to maybe find ourselves a live raid or something like that. So if we do manage to find any raids, we obviously do have raiding gear now because we got the dragon fang as well. 
And we got the Death Zone, and we can easily make as much charges as we really want. And there's a dude there. There's a helicopter, too. Oh, there's a guy with a gun. <laughs> the other guy's trying to punch him out. I'm gonna push for it to kill that guy. Oh, there we go. He's dead, so... I think there's more, though. I think there's a third guy in there. Oh, yeah, there is. Is he naked, or does he have any... Wait, what is he doing? Oh, yeah, he had a... Bro had a cobra, another dude. Dead, so uh, there we go. Let's clear out the zombies. There's a naked here. There's... Oh, now he's dead. So many people, man. I think there's a guy behind. Oh, it's just another naked, though. Dude, I just killed, like, God knows how many nakeds. Oh, we got a bus. Oh, let's go. Maybe we could try to take this heli, actually. We have a blowtorch, and I don't think it's locked, either. Let's make ourselves as much meds. Lovely. We can salvage all of these, too. Oh, I accidentally made it into rope. No. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got ourselves a heli. There's a dude there. He is dead. Let's see if he had anything. Oh, he had some stuff. Oh, yeah. He had an empty heartbreaker and an empty peacemaker. All right, never mind. Bro did not have anything. There's a guy there. This <laughs> is just another naked... This is naked killing galore today. There's a dude there. He's dead. I think he had some guns though. Let's go see. There's a guy down there. It's so blunt force. Dead. Two guys here. Oh yeah, this guy did have some stuff. Let's kill this naked. There we go. Alright, so this guy had uh, blunt force, hawk, hound, some food, glow. Alright, let's go up and see what the other guys up here had. Oh, there's somebody here. I hear him. Oh yeah, bro's right here. This guy had an empty go fire, a bunch of junk. We'll salvage all of these. Wait, where did the bro come from? What? What is he doing? Is he trying to punch us? Right, I'm gonna run out of ammo actually. And yeah, there's another guy. My teammate got him though. Wait, what? Where is bro coming from? I am so confused. Is he jump like does he have a bed up here or something? Oh thank you. Alright, my teammate got me some some ammo. I'm roaming with blunt force right now. Yeah, he's back here again. Oh, that's how he's coming in here. There's a bro in here TPing him. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, they're all dead now. Getting shot at from somewhere. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's dead. You know, he had full melee, so let's go see if he had anything good for us. Somebody around, so... Oh, yeah, he had the heartbreaker with a makeshift scope. Somebody under me wearing clothes. Oh, he's right. <laughs> he was right under here. Yeah, bro had nothing, though. Bunch of clothes. We'll salvage it for... Cloth and metal. Make it all into meds. And the metal we'll use it for lockers or whatever we need it for in base. There's a bro in here. My teammate got killed by him. There we go, he's dead. He has my, my teammate's loot and his loot. Alright. Bro, I'm kind of surprised how there isn't like extremely geared people on Seattle. There are people with guns and everything. Yeah, there's a, another guy in there. Dead so uh, This bro's trying to punch me out. He's dead though, obviously. <laughs> this is how Seattle is on an insanely populated survey. No matter where you go, there's going to be people. My bro had an ace only. I'm not gonna bother to even take that. Maybe we could go melee next and see if there's any people around there. Maybe they're more geared people. Oh yeah, there are people there. He's dead. Another guy dead. Any more? Yep. Third guy down. Alright, let's go see what loot they had. So while we are melee, these guys are obviously, you know, looting over here. Got themselves. Hopefully a lot of loot. Oh yeah, never mind. Saber suit some ammo. We'll take the saber though, I mean. I may roam around with the saber later on if we get fully attached saber. It's a pretty nice gun. With like a muzzle, a scope, and a, and a grip. We're kind of hoping for a mega zombie too, actually, because they could drop some really good stuff on the server. Alright, so I home. So, one of our teammates is just working on base, by the way. He's not really much of a PvP, he's just a, a base builder. He loves to build bases. He knows some really good base designs. He's doing honeycomb and all of that. There's there's a dude right there. There we go, he's down. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's the only guy. This guy was apparently door camping our base, so... Oh, bro, he's geared. He has, like, Zubex and Shadows. That's pretty nice. I'm getting shot at by Saber. I have no idea from where. Somewhere in front of me, though. Oh, I saw him, I think. Let's kill that dude. Yeah, he's dead. Um, yeah, we're getting sniped at, so might as well just go inside or use my saber tooth, actually. Tap. Guy up there. Dead. He's dead. Oh, hello there. <laughs> he had no clue I was even behind him. 
Dude, every time we come here, there's just people over and over. Apparently, we're getting door camped again. I don't see anyone, though. And there's a guy there. I'll say naked, though, but... Oh, yeah, there we are. Alright, we're dead. Apparently, it's a big group as well. So, hopefully, it won't be the same situation with the first base we took over. Let's go up. Oh, they blew up our heli, so... I mean, the heli was literally giving us away that it's a live base, to be completely honest. There's grizzly shots going on, so... Let me go try to get my loot. Yeah, my loot is also here. Wait, he's he's on a tree. Alright, there we go. He's the up. Oh, there's another guy. I thought people can't climb trees on, on Unturned anymore. I guess I guess I was wrong about that. Alright, there they're jumping off from a sky base. And just hide up there. We could just chop them all down and uh, place a campfire in, in them. Yeah, my teammates killed them though. Yeah, the diving thing, so they may be jumping off from a sky base. Yeah, Heartbreaker. Yeah, this is the guy that I killed, I think. Right, let's take all of the guns. Yep, these were all mine. I gotta depot these Heartbreakers. I don't want to have too much on me. Because if I die, we would just go down with three Heartbreakers. There we go. Alright, I'll drop them on the floor. And Igor, who is the base build there, he will just put them wherever he wants because he organizes the loot and all of that. Oh yeah, there's shots going on. There's a dude there. He's dead. Uh, bro, if they can climb trees, they can literally climb on the ones right next to our base and they could just jump on the roof. Oh, there's a dude here. Bro, the PDW, how the hell did he not kill me? Another guy dead. Uh, Alright, let's get inside and depot this. There we got ourselves another PDW, nice. Let's med up, let's go back out there. It's a war zone, our base is always a war zone on today, dude. Did we clear them all out? I mean, it doesn't really matter because they're gonna return 100%. Oh, PDW. Oh, I think that's my teammate. The guy there. Naked though, but we gotta kill him. Alright, yeah, I think we may have actually cleared them all out. For now, at least. Alright guys, and that is where we're going to conclude episode number one. Now, in episode number two, it will get much more intense. The full video is just base defense. Group after group will try to raid us, they will shoot rockets, they will use charges on us. And it's going to be an, a very intense video. So if you guys want episode 2 to come out soon, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 200 likes in the first 24 hours. And if we do reach that, then episode 2 will be out tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you guys did enjoy. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.